So far, I've spent 15 in-game days in Mauritania. I've achieved 71 agility, 80 cooking, and 87 crafting without leaving the region. However, there is one skill that has painfully eluded me. Woodcutting. Now, there are plenty of trees in my chunk, and I even got a steel axe from a werewolf in my very first chunk, Canifis. So, what's the problem? I have no capability to get a bronze or iron axe, and my woodcutting is only level 2. However, that changes today. Welcome to Canifis Chunk, where it's taken me 375 hours to chop 16 regular logs. On the last episode of Canifis Chunk, we finished up all the tasks in Port Phasmatis, most notably getting 80 cooking to cook a shark, and also level 87 crafting to make an empty light orb. We finished up the episode by rolling our next chunk, the Lumber Yard. So, two things. Firstly, this is the task list for the Lumber Yard. Pickpocket a man, fletch a longbow unfinished, burn a pile log, create a plank at the sawmill, smelt a bronze bar, and chop an undead tree. Secondly, I got mildly sick at the start of this episode, and my voice was trashed. So just try and think of it as though I'm your husky lover, and uh, less so a dork having near constant voice cracks. So uh, enjoy. So we are starting this video off in the Lumberyard chunk by getting our fletching up. So we are currently a level five. Uh, we need to get level 10 to make the longbow and the logs in here are a blessing, right? Do you get any more XP for making short bows? No, so we'll stick with the arrow shafts. Um, but yeah, you, there's eight log spawns that you can grab all around here. Super, super good for getting early fletching and fire making levels. We barely need to do anything in this chunk. But it makes a nice change. That Port Phasmatis chunk was rough. And in real time, I've only just done it, even though for you guys watching this video, it's probably been at least a couple of weeks. But here I am enjoying only having to get level 10 fletching. And with that, the first chunk goal is done. Make a longbow you. Done. There we go. 10 fletching. Right, what else do we need to do? So we are back to do more tasks, starting with the five fire making for the pyre logs. Uh, we'll just light these logs on the ground. We're then going to pick some up, turn them into planks, and take one back to turn into a pyre log. There is level two fire making, and level five will not take long. Sorry, I am completely losing my voice. <laughs> Okay, here should be a level 5. A level 5 fire making. You can now make pyre logs. Right, let's grab this extra fella. And then we shall head over here. And buy a plank at the sawmill. Just the one, please. Perfect, easy task done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pickpocket a man over here. We only need to do that once. And then we are going to kill this black knight for a tin ore. So the tin ore is actually a 1 in 128 from the black knight there. So, I mean, how long did it take us to do to get that? Uh, what was it? What was the thing that we did in the last episode? To get the mind runes from the afflicted. It took... I think 270 for a 1 in 64, so we could be here for 500 Black Knights if we're unlucky. But hopefully the Black Knight will be relatively easy to kill. I'm hoping it won't hit me too hard, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it just for this invent of Trout. But I think I probably need to get lucky to get that, because yeah, this isn't exactly going swimmingly. Okay, so I had my screen region over a super secret project that I'm, at, I'm recording on the side for something that you'll see probably in a few months. But we got the tin ore. It took us 127 
Black Knight, so one under rakes. It's a one in 128. And now we just need to go and make the bronze bar in Port Phasmatis. So here we go. Let's smelt our bronze bar. And that is that task done. Right, just one more, which is to chop the undead. Tr well, so there's two more um, that are getting picked up. So it turns out the five fire making, I don't think I have to do because I can't actually get the pyre logs because there is a Shades of Morton quest requirement, but the picker just isn't picking it up. So I actually can't do that because I can't get the sacred oil to turn the logs into pyre logs. So I actually can't do that. Um, and then the other task that's a maybe is it reckons that I can chop the undead tree here with my steel axe. I think that's unlikely seeing as I'm two wood cutting. So I think that's probably just a mistake as well. Um, but we'll go and see. And if we can't, then, well, either way, if we can't, then this is, was the last task, getting the bronze bar. And if we can, we'll just chop it and we'll be rolling a new chunk. Sorry about this voice, by the way. I've completely lost it for some reason. But these are the trees that he wants me to try and chop down. Yeah, can't do it. I don't have an axe that I can use and no way to get one. So, yeah, there we go. We are done with a chunk and it's time to roll again. Okay, let's go. What do we want? I honestly don't know anymore. There's not too many terrible chunks around, really, except 13 and 6. Six for now, six will be good one day. I and mean, if I get it early, it might not be great. Uh, but let's see what we get. Okay. Looks like we're heading into the wilderness. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. There's nothing there. Um, I'm stood in the lumber yard, so I'll go and check. But let's go see. So let's unlock the chunk in the region locker. There we go. And let's go see what's there. Probably nothing is my bet, but there may be something interesting, or at least we might be able to see something interesting nearby. Um, God, there really is nothing. Uh, I'm interested to see. Oh, there's. So it looks like Ents can wander in. But they aren't actually. They aren't actually spawning here. Okay, cool. Right, let's uh, let's roll the next chunk then. So here we are back with seventeen chunks currently unlocked. I've decided to renumber them east to west because we're basically only ever going to go west. So having that kind of number progression will be nice. Um, but yeah. Let's, let's get stuck in. I want to avoid 7. I want to avoid 15 if I can. But other than that, we're pretty much good. Let's go. Okay, what are we going to get here? Uh, there's guards there, so that's a theme. Okay. Well, I can complete a Soul's Bane quest here. That's pretty cool. Uh, what are these diaries? Uh, give bones to a dog, I'm guessing. Okay, um, steal from the tea stall, that's fine, five thieving requirement, oh that's nice, that means I don't have to get, that means I don't have to get 40 on, on men in this, in this shop here, which would have been, in this pub here, which would have been terrible, uh, getting 40 to thieve the guards on the tea stall will be a lot more tolerable. I imagine it's still going to be a shitload of tea. But this is a cool track. Yeah, a cool track? Cool chunk. Yeah, let's get stuck in. Right, here we are unlocking chunks. Going to unlock this one now. Very nice. And here we go. So, oh, oak trees here. That's nice. That's a so basically if we so if I'd got one of the U requirements that then there's quite a lot of them around. So there's U's what here, here. Uh, there's a U's there as well. So if I'd unlocked an axe before this chunk, I'd have been having to get a little sixty wood cutting on regular trees. But two oak trees pretty close to each other. That's very nice. Uh, the guards, they're decent. 
um, they should be fun. And then the main thing here, which is going to be useful to us, is this tea stall because we are going to be able to get our thieving up in a actually quite enjoyable way. Um, are there any good item spawns? Doesn't look like it. Is that just a regular jug? Yep. Um, but we're very, very close to Varrock now, which is interesting. Um, yeah, that's a cool trunk. Right, just need to go and get, uh, I think it's five thieving for tea stalls. Yeah, five thieving. So we'll go and get that on the men in the pub up here, and then we'll come and steal some tea. So we have quite cleverly set our left clicks to pickpocket um, and we should go. Although I've not got any food on me, which is kind of a mistake, but hopefully we can get to five without any food with 49 hit points. So let's see how we get on. Okay, the men only hit ones. I was kind of picturing them hitting threes. So I should definitely be fine to get to level five like this. And I don't think I should get, oh God, this voice is doing my fucking head in. Um, I don't think we get caught at all doing the doing tea stall based on my memory of doing it. So that should be that should be it. We should be able, I'm basically gonna just stay here without having to it's crazy that I'm all the way over here and my closest bank is all the way over in cannabis. Ugh, that's annoying, but oh well. Let's keep going. Oh, there is level five hundred total. That's not even that bad considering how many level one stats we have, which is a lot. Um, but we should, so what, we're going to get another 36 from this chunk alone. Very nice. And there is level five thieving and the tea stall is unlocked. Let's go see how that works and what the XP per hour is. Cool. So because the tea owner is stuck over there, I think I can just basically thieve the stall with immunity because the guards aren't close enough. So I think I should just be able to steal it over and over again. 16 XP per, and it respawns relatively quickly, and it's got a 100% success rate. So, yeah, let's uh, let's reset our tracker and see what the XP per hour is on this. Okay, so we're looking at about 11k XP per hour, so about, what, three or four hours to get to level 40? That's not too bad, I guess. It's quite a boring activity, but it'll be rewarding. Um, let's go do this Bob random though and uh, get the fishing XP. Such a nice random event, the way that it gives you literally, actually decent XP in fishing. So there is level 10 fishing. We can now fish for herring if we had the stuff for it. It's a shame that you can't keep the small fishing net from that. That would probably be really quite useful for me. And there is level 10, the first of many milestones. We can now thieve from farmers but there are none close by. This is awful, this throw. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the first bit of this video is just all going to be me talking like a massive dickhead. Level 25 thieving coming in. Oh, it's quite a tedious grind just spam clicking the corner of this table, but it is, it's at least short. And only in old school RuneScape could you describe a grind clicking the corner of a table for four or five hours as short. <laughs> but here we are. And with that 30 thieving, I'm gonna s thieving? Thieving. I'm going to stop doing the. I'm gonna stop thieving for now and I'm instead going to go and knock out the quests and the diaries and then come back to the thieving to finish. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting through this quite quick. That took kind of an hour and a half, maybe. I'm slacking a little bit. But yeah, decent little chunk, which I should hopefully be over shortly. Okay, let's start this quest and see how it goes. It recommends on uh, the wiki that you need a range or mage weapon, and my actual weapon is quite poor. So this may not go well at all, but we shall see. Okay, we've got through all of the... Um, like preliminary runes, relatively runes, preliminary rooms, relatively unscathed. Um, only one more of these to go, but then Tolna, the end boss, I am nervous for. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to do it on the nine trout I've got remaining. Um, but I'm also a bit nervous. I won't be able to do it on a full inventor trout either. And then we'll have to go back to the drawing board, which could be rough, but hopefully we'll be all right. Right, let's give this a go, see how we do. I'm guessing not well. 
Okay, not too much damage so far. Oh, okay, they're kind of wrecking me, but we might be alright with a full invent. Might be alright with this invent. Go on. I guess my slightly overpowered stats are actually kind of coming in quite clutch. Um, nice, right, this might work. Should be okay, I reckon. Because this one's dead, we'll be in a better spot. Fucking hell, they hit fives. So we can get this down before I need to eat. Nope. Uh. Uh. Oh my god, quick. Fucking die. Why have they suddenly started fucking shredding me? Oh my god. Come on, get this one down. Now they've stopped? Can I run away? If only I had protection press. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, run. Okay. Right, I'm gonna have to have my strange fruit to... In fact, no, it's only a one poison, is it? Oh, you do. You do. Go on. Things you love to see. Okay, right, that shouldn't be a problem with a full amount of food. Oh, I'm happy about that. I was getting stressed for a second. Right, let's go for round two, bitches. Let's get stuck in. Why are they hit me so much harder now? Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. There we go. Oh, not close at all. Strange fruit to cure of poison, how handy is that? And uh, let's wrap up the quest. There we go, a soul's bane done and up to four quest points. Any levels from that? No, I think I just need to hop into here and that'll be one of my tasks done though. And hopefully I can just jump straight back out. Yep, climb up the rope. Awesome, right now I just need to get some bones and feed them to the dog. And then I think that's me done, aside from the thieving. Okay, so the chunk is definitely complete, except the 40 thieving for the guard and the feeding the bones to the dog. I can't find the dog right now in the chunk that I have. He must be somewhere else. Um, and I'm about to go on mobile to do a decent bit of thieving. So if he comes to me on mobile, I'll give him the bones there. But just know I have the bones on me and they're going to be given to the dog. And then, aside from the thieving, we are done. So, uh, yeah, nine thieving levels, well, nine and a tiny bit of thieving levels to go until we're rolling again. So, it is now the next day and my voice is feeling slightly better. Um, but here we are with level 40 thieving. You can now pickpocket city guards, so let's go and do that. Hopefully we get it first go. There we go. Right. Chunk complete. God, it feels good to be rattling through them rather than spending nearly a month doing it like the last episode. <laughs> okay, so with that task completed, we are now back in the chunk picker. So don't really know what I'm aiming for. I feel like the wilderness could be quite fun. Barrows would be quite fun. Not entirely sure if we can do it or not. But if we get it, then, you know, we'll give it a good go. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck in. Dig site. Okay, and nothing there. So I think there used to be a thieving requirement there for the workmen. Um, because there's a 25, you know, a 25 thieving requirement there. But because now we have 40, there is no requirement there. So... Okay, that's cool. Um, interesting, for sure. I'll now rejig the map so we're still going right to left. Um, but yeah, I'll go check it out in-game in as well, probably as well. So, I think I forgot to mention in the last 
clip that I've got a beginner clue here that I'm going to keep hold of for now because it's Charlie the Tramp in Varrock and Varrock is just over here so it's only one chunk away and I think that's probably the only beginner step that we're anywhere close to um, but let's unlock the chunk that we just unlocked which is this fella and in we go. Do we get any music tracks or anything? Oh, no, because I think I accidentally stepped into it in a previous episode. Um, but there's nothing too interesting here except um, the barge to Fossil Island. But we're obviously a long, long way away from that. I mean, we need the Varrock Museum at a minimum and then a load of other quests. So uh, interesting chunks I have unlocked in the long run, but nothing too interesting for us right now. So back to the chunk picker. So we are back in the chunk picker, not too much to say because nothing has happened since the last time we were here. I've renumbered them right to left again and here we go. Okay, I don't think that's going to be anything. Oh, is it? Off some bone, yeah, okay. Don't know why that's picking up there. We, we've, we've done that already, so we can tick that and uh, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, let's roll again. Okay, 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 okay. Right, that's an interesting one. I doubt there's going to be anything there. There's just empty wilderness. Interesting. So we can go that way. Right, let me just uh, let me just rejig this. So it looks like our penetration into the wilderness is going to keep on going. So we're heading across this way. I don't think there's going to be anything interesting here. Some giant rats. Is that of interest? I don't think so. Um, no, because they don't drop big bones or anything like that. So nothing there. Now I just want to kind of see what's up here that we could get in the future uh, all right nothing too close nothing useful that I can drag into this chunk by the looks of it but yeah it looks like we're becoming a, uh, a wilderness chunk man though slowly that's two wilderness chunks now um, so yeah that's cool and I quite quite like this it's a, we're getting really quite close to some interesting wilderness stuff. I mean, that would be, I'd have to get full Elder Chaos ropes, which would be quite big in of itself, right? So, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, there was no real compelling reason to foray into the wilderness for any longer. No tasks in this chunk, as expected. And, uh, yeah, on to rolling the next one, I guess. Okay, is that, is that another wilderness one? No tasks again, but I believe you can go that way. Um, so, yeah, let's go just check we can actually walk into that chunk. I think we can. Okay, so it looks like you can definitely walk into the chunk. Um, so let's unlock it and head on in. Music track? No, of course not. There is literally nothing here, though, except trees that I can't chop down. So it looks like we live to roll another chunk. Um, we'll head, so it's interesting that there's wilderness here, but no wilderness ditch. That would probably be a really good spot to do like boosting or drop trading or something like that. So I bet people have done illicit activities around there in the past. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. Look how many chunks that we've unlocked. And we still don't have an axe to chop a level one tree. That's really quite crazy. Um, hopefully we'll get one of those soon because I feel like this account is severely lacking in the uh, extreme one chunk journey without having any wood cutting, any fire making or any fletching. So hopefully we'll get something interesting in that regard soon. So here we go again. Our map is really getting quite big now. 22 unlocked chunks. Quite crazy. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's pick the next one. I'm kind of I'm hoping for this wilderness push. You know, I feel like that could be interesting. Um, so uh, yeah, let's hope let's hope we get something good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> again with the wilderness chunks. Anything there? No. Um, that's cool. That's really cool. Right, let's go. Uh, 
Let's go check it out. I think, is that green dragons here? Or here? Maybe the... I don't know. There's green dragons, though, somewhere around here, the east ones. Uh, they're east. Yeah, they must be in that chunk. So that's cool. We're getting close to some green dragons. What a weird creature to have on our Canifus start uh, one chunk man. But yeah, this, this wilderness push is, is really going hard for me right now. Okay, so let's unlock the chunk in the map before we run in there. There we go. Still no music tracks. I want to unlock some new music tracks, man. Okay, let's see if the green dragons are just up here. I won't be dragging them in unless I need to for another challenge. Like, that's the green dragon chunk up there. But if I need to get, you know, prayer for something and I can drag them in, then I might do. Although, looks like they're too far away or in the next chunk up. So, yeah, that won't be an option for us. But... Another chunk unlocked, and another chunk with absolutely sod oil in it. These trees aren't even choppable, so yeah, on to the next chunk. Look how big our chunk map is now. I've had to zoom out even more because we're going so far north that I can't fit it all in one screen if I uh, keep it how it was. So uh, yeah, let's hope we can get something interesting. I'd love to actually do a task. This whole rolling empty chunks is quite fun, but I do actually want to play the game at some point, so... Without further ado, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, Varrock. That could be big. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at the list of shit. Oh, God. Right, let's have a quick look. So, 30 attack, wield an Addy weapon. That's actually good news, I guess, because it means we can get an Addy. Oh, we just buy one from the store, don't we? So, oh, is that all this stuff bought? Yeah, all this stuff's like bought in shops, isn't it? Yes! Okay, right, so most of the gear is actually just bought in shops. It's like stuff like the um, Addy plate body, uh, I'm sorry, the myth plate body from this shop, the Addy sword from this shop, so that's cool. Um, it's clearly picked up that we can get an axe from somewhere, which is interesting. Um, where is it picking that up from? Details. Bronze axe from a barbarian. Oh, there's a, uh, oh, I can't remember whose series it was, but there's a barbarian in the shop here, isn't there? Um, not shop, in this pub. So we can kill the barbarian, get a bronze axe, and then we can use our steel and black axes. Uh, and it wants us to get 60, basically, what, 60 wood cutting, 72 fletching for, um, for the yew trees over here. Uh, so that's cool. Um, I'll be backlogging this because I can't get the sacred oil so that's the same as the level 5 one that I did good that I know that and didn't train to level 65 fire making in this chunk um, but yeah here we are, here's annexing 55 magic, oh my god yes because there's a rune shop so now we can get a magic up that's nice, that's really quite cool I don't know where I'm going to train it though. There's not very many. Uh, I've not got very many interesting training locations as my main one. I'm a bit worried about the fact that the uh, that the runecrafting cape is down here. I don't think I can actually train it because I don't have everything I need to do so. But it's worrying that it's so close. Um, yeah, so this looks like a pretty major grind. Basically, I'm going to be chopping a shitload of oak logs. Oh, that's another good thing. There's a bank. I've got another bank. Is that the Barrett Museum? Can I go and get, like, some free Slayer and Hunter XP there? I think I can, can't I? Is that useful to me? The Hunter XP is. Because I'm lamping Hunter at the moment, and I've got Swamp Lizards over here, and if we look here, we're pretty close to black chins so if i can get some decent hunter levels from the museum and then hunt these fellas over here and then do black chins that could be very interesting for the account um varrock course is that that's lower level than the canifis one isn't it oh, that's annoying and that would have been good to have a, a better agility training method anything else of interest um there's a there's a staff shop, that's cool, there's an anvil. Um, yeah, that's some cool stuff. The one mining, they must have picked up that I can... Oh, it's because I can go to the museum now. 
so I can dig some soil at the dig site for very, very minor, minor XP. So that's interesting. Um, cool, yeah, main thing then is going to be getting getting some U-logs and fletching them up to level 72. That 72 fletching could be a deceptively long grind. I'm kind of looking at it like, oh, it might not be that bad, but look, but thinking about it, doing that on just oak logs that I'm, that I'm chopping myself. Yeah, that might take a long time. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck in. So here we go. This is a huge step on the account. The first proper location we are, the outside of Mauritania. I mean, we've got a load of weird, wieldy chunks now. But we're now, we now got basically three cities, which is cool. Port Phasmatis, Canafis, and now Varrock. And there is a lot to do in all of them. So without further ado, let's unlock this. I won't get the music tracks because to get to Canafis, I had to go to Rolled up here. So I already have the music tracks, but we got a bank. We got a bank. Oh my God. This is so good. So much stuff here to do. Can I, I want to see what's in the rune shop. Because if there's law runes in the rune shop, I can teleport to Varrock like really easily. Um, please. Oh, oh, that's so lame. That is so lame. Okay. Um, that's fine. We should be able to get law runes as a drop from some stuff. Oh, we've got a lot more men now. That'll be useful for training. We've got the bow and arrow shop, which is cool. Because what bows can you get here? Oak, willow, oh, and maple. That's pretty cool. And addy arrow. So we actually have some decent stuff from that, which is good. Oh, this is so nice. So much stuff. Right, so we don't have the tree farming patch, which is... I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, but the main thing we need to do for now uh, to start is, is get that bronze axe from the Barbarian, who I believe should be in here somewhere. Um, although, hold on, I don't need to use my shitty steel scimitar anymore because I can grab myself an Addy Sword, which is definitely going to be our best DPS. Oh, that's so awesome. Right, let's get stuck in. So the line is there, just have the gypsy shop. So we can use the staff store, but we can't use the West Bank. We can't go to the apothecary. Oh, there's so much stuff to do. So I've grabbed my GP from the bank, and what I'm going to do is buy a couple of the upgrades uh, that are going to be useful to me for now. So I'm going to buy the Mithril... Oh, <laughs> uh, am I going to buy the mithril? <laughs> um, 5,900. Okay, yeah, we can afford all this. So I'm going to buy the studded chaps and the mithril plate body. So that's two best in slots for us. Because uh, I can put those on. And oh, no, I can't put those on because I haven't got the range level. But I can use the mithril plate body, which is good. And then we're also going to go over and buy the Addy sword which is going to be nice trade shop assistant adamant sword nice right let's see okay none of my gear gives any offensive bonuses except the steel semi i think so yeah so stab slash and crush plus zero scimitar gives plus 15 slash which is the relevant bit and plus 14 melee strength and the sword gives a plus 23 sam plus 24 melee strength so that is going to be a huge item for us it's going to increase our dps a lot we're going to head into this pub there's the barbarian we got to kill and get a bronze axe from her i'll check on the drop rate but i think it's probably not too bad so I've just taken a quick look at the wiki to see what this drops and what the drop rate is. So the drop rate on the bronze axe is a 1 in 21, so basically nothing. But interestingly, she also drops a ring mould. So if I could get my hands on a gold bar and a gem, I could make rings? And if I then I could get my hands on cosmic runes, which maybe I can, then I could also make like recoils and and rings of dueling and stuff like that. That's interesting. A ring mold. That's a really weird item for her to drop. Um, but she also drops some interesting runes, lore runes, 
uh, which are going to be good, although there's only, she only drops two of them and they're one in 128, so it may not be useful to us. But headline is the Bronze Axe. It doesn't take too long. Um, so that's a good thing. And we can crack. So I'm going to mark her actually to see what her respawn timer is. I'm loving the fact that I've got some actual gear upgrades. I kind of look quite quite tanky now, I think. Like the plate bodies look so good, don't they? Um, so yeah, there, well, there's the ring mold. One in 128. So I've got a furnace. I've got a ring mold. I just now need the ingredients to make rings. Um, but a ring of recall could be useful to us in the future, I guess. Uh, ring of life, not so much. Uh, looks like the respawn timer on this is like 15 seconds. So that's cool. Um, but we should be getting that bronze axe soon. Hopefully this one... No. Okay, 45 kills later, twice the rate again. Um, we get the bronze axe and our journey... Our journey into the woodcutting saga of this account begins. I might, oh, should I go and get a different cape? I feel like I should get a different cape for this. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Time to go chop some, let's chop this tree here. This will be the first tree we've chopped on the account since Tutorial Island. And there we go. Good times, good times. Right, let's, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to go and do, but we shall see. So, as it turns out, I'm not going to go and get a different cape because I basically have no money left. But I am going to start chopping some trees and fletching some logs and get up to these oak trees ASAP. Because once we can chop the oak trees, the woodcutting becomes a lot more relaxed. Um, so, yeah, let's get stuck into that. And there is level 6 woodcutting, which means we can now use the steel axe and get rid of our bronze one. And then, what, I think the... Black one is probably 11, yeah, so, wow, I mean, literally, it took us, we, we couldn't chop trees this whole time, because we couldn't cut the, what, 16 regular logs that we needed to get to level 6 to use the steel axe, which we got in our first chunk, so it took us, what, 25 chunks or something, just to uh, get the bronze axe to cut. 16 regular logs but this is the start of an interesting ground i've just done some quick maths in my head though and i'm estimating it's going to be over thirty thousand oak longbows to get level 72 fletching so i think this chunk is going to take a really long time way longer than i thought it was going to but it's a good one and we're going to get some good levels out of it we're going to have three more skills just from this grind um that are leveled up a lot that will kind of take our total level a lot higher and uh, our account will be a lot more well-rounded because we'll have the fire making the wood cutting the fletching the magic range um so it's a nice little uh nice little chunk to to get on with okay but a few minutes later here we are with level 11 wood cutting there we go you can now use a black axe and we can drop our steel one so uh, here we go. This is the axe that we're going to be getting into the, what, mid-70s woodcutting with. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be a black axe bandit for the next... Oh, I don't know how long this is going to take, to be honest. I really don't. Uh, probably at least 50 hours, I reckon, because I'm going to bank every single oak item that I create as well because I need to sell them to the shop to get the GP to get the 55 magic I believe so yeah it's gonna be a long grind but I'm actually happy about that because you do this you do you don't start an extreme one chunk account if you're not planning on doing some long grinds so it's nice to have another long grind but that isn't quite as long as the getting 87 crafting so yeah, I'm excited. There is a level 20 woodcutting. Really nice cutting the oak trees, especially now they updated it with forestry because I think that these cannot fall before 27 seconds. So it's a nice amount of like guaranteed AFK every single time. And also the update there means that you make more arrow shafts out of higher logs is good as well because turning these into arrow shafts gives 10 XP, which is the same as a longbow so we don't lose any so so like we can keep 
fletching at level 15 even though we can't make an oak short bow out of the oak log out of the oak logs if that makes sense you can make arrow shafts out of oak logs at level 15 where an oak long bow would take level 20 so yeah we're starting on the wood cutting i'm quite enjoying it so far very nice in afk this will be really nice to do on mobile and uh yeah we're here for the long haul so now that we've got the 20 fletching, I'm actually going to crack on with getting the 15 fire making that I need for oak logs. And then we can basically just switch between fletching and fire making, depending on what I feel like at the time. Very nice how quick these uh, regular trees drop now that I'm up to 28 wood cutting. Basically, I think because I need 72 fletching, my wood cutting is going to go way past that. So I think I'm probably going to end on something like 77, 78 wood cutting so the 60 wood cutting requirement is pretty much redundant um but that's nice it means that uh if we ever hit magic trees we'll just be able to chop one straight away so uh yeah it's a nice little uh nice little grind to get on with and i'm enjoying it thus far and here is level 15 fire making meaning we can now go and enjoy using oak logs which is handy because now we don't have to chop a regular tree ever again, as far as I know, which is indeed nice. I think you don't you teleport a square. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, but now this will be the last regular log that we need, and we can just go for oak logs from here on out. <laughs> I just realised I was banging on about about I can oh now I can make. Now I can make rings with my ring mould, totally forgetting that you can just get bird's nests when you wood cut. So of course I'm going to get all sorts of rings. I think the main issue is probably going to be the, the cosmic runes, right? Um, so yeah, I can get rings and I don't need a ring mould and I am an idiot. So uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm guessing probably you guys are all a lot smarter than me, so I'm guessing you were all laughing at me originally when I was saying that anyway. Um, but yeah. I now am in the know too, so I, I shall laugh past me as well. So there is 30 wood cutting, which if we had access to them would mean that we could chop willow logs. So I'm just going to light all of these oak logs here and then I'm going to go check out the museum and see if I indeed can get the XP from uh, Orlando Smith for doing the doing you know the slap but the one case layer in Hunter XP that everyone gets at the start of their account because if I can I should be able to get what level nine or ten hunter and that will speed up my lamping of it a lot so uh yeah i'm gonna go check that out right i believe that that is all of them done let's see if we can indeed get these rewards we can indeed nine hunter and 18 slayer now uh we don't unlock anything with either i don't believe but That is very nice to have done. And now when we get a lamp in Hunter, it's going to be 90 XP instead of 10 XP. So we're increasing our lamping markedly, which is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Uh, probably just go back to woodcutting because I kind of have to get the woodcutting or at least a substantial amount of the woodcutting and fletching out of the way before I can start anything else because our cash stack is looking not great and we need to have cash to train our range our magic etc so yeah we're gonna stick with the wood cutting for now and uh i'll update you soon and here is a level 25 fletching which means we can now make oak longbows which is what we're going to be making all the way to level 72 fletching because you can sell them for twice as much gp per log as you can the shields otherwise i do the shields because you use two logs and it's 50 xp and it's the same per log but it's faster but they only sell for the same as the oak longbows so we need to do oak longbows for the gp um and we're going to be making about thirty thousand of them so it's going to be a long grind but hopefully it should be fun and there is level 40 wood cutting we are rattling through it this really isn't too bad. Um, I'll, like It's 30 seconds AFK each and every time. I don't need to turn run off because I save enough with my uh, shitloads of uh, shitloads of agility that I've got. So I don't actually need to preserve run at all. So I just sprint over here, 
Fletch at the bank, bank it all, and then just run back to the oak trees. 33 fletching as well. Very nice. Yeah, this will fly by. Okay, so you guys seem to quite like the theory crafting element of this series. And what you might think is best is to craft all the oak longbows, stick them all in the bank, and run back over here. But I've come up with a small little optimization which can make this a lot better. So let me just chop a full invent of logs and I'll get back to you. So with us, uh, our uh, full invent, we're going to do... So the first optimization is obviously uh, cut the logs whilst you run. So run over like this, cutting, 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 cutting. But as you'll notice, this run isn't particularly far and I'm done by the time I'm at the fifth log. So I'm stood at the bank AFK for like, you know, 23 22 logs or something which you know is is a kind of time waste so there's i feel like there's something we can do with this time um so what we're going to do is what i'm going to show you now which is when we get to four logs remaining we're going to bank and then we're going to run over here back to the trees whilst cutting making this run here actually productive um and because we because like it takes so long to get full invent and we're relatively close to the bank, the run energy is going to regen all the way and we're not going to be losing run energy by running back with some of the logs, crafting them and only cutting, you know, 23 per invent instead of 27. Um, one thing I think might be cool actually is if I need to buy runes for for mage training what i could do i guess in theory is cut these logs with one invent space remaining whilst walking over to the rune shop with coins in my inventory buy the runes and then run walk back and then effectively i'm zero timing the walk to the rune shop to the bank now, I guess it doesn't really matter that much because I'd be hopping for the runes in future, but it, it, it'd be like a absolutely minuscule time save, but a time save nonetheless. That could be cool. Go on then. Let's just get the dragon spear from the mystery box. Or not. And coming in shortly is level 50 woodcutting. You can now chop down mahogany trees, which are a miles away. Uh, and we're very nearly 45 fletching as well, so we're really rattling through it. The 60 wood cutting is going to come very quickly, which is one of the requirements, but obviously we're going to have to way overshoot that. Um, once I hit maybe 50 fletching, I might start doing some fire making, but yeah, it's going well. You see, this is one of the benefits of being a uh, you know somewhat moderately popular YouTuber, you know, aside from the fast cars and all the women. Uh, people are actually willing to give you their hard-earned GP to use on uh, on bonds. I mean, how amazing is that? Thanks to uh, Thick Squats. I mean, he looks like a fucking Chad with a twisted bow in the Missouri. I mean, wish that could be me. Look at that. What a guy. What a guy. Thank you very much, Thick Squats. So I've got 3,000 oak longbows at the moment at just shy of 48 fletching and I'm going to go try and sell them just to check that my you know, selling technique actually works and it is worth it. Um, I, my estimate is I should get just short of 100k from this and I've never had anywhere near that on any of my accounts so let's go see if that's the case. Right so we fell slightly short of the 100k that we wanted. We managed to get 76k, which is really very decent. Um, I feel like what I'll do is probably spend most of it on archery stuff because it's so cheap because it's um, 1 GP per, per arrow, I believe. Oops. Well, okay, so the iron ones are... Th oh, I'll just buy the bronze ones then. Um, and we need short bow, oak short bow, willow short bow, and maple short bow, all very cheap. And uh, yeah, we'll hop. Well, uh, world switcher on. We'll hop worlds a few times, grab some arrows, and then uh, go shoot some. Go shoot some. Uh, I think it's probably men that are probably best to shoot because I think they've got like a minus twenty one. Um, 
defense or range defense. So I think you pretty much have 100% accuracy on them. So let's go see how we can get on with 450 arrows. Uh, where are the best men in this chain? I think there's, there's a couple over here somewhere. Where are they? Oh, they're here. Okay, I need to find some that are quite easily safe spotable, basically. Okay, so there's two in there. But that doesn't look particularly safe spotty to me. Um, yeah, I can't see how I can reliably set up a safe spot in here. Okay, I'll I'll go. In fact, the pub over near the northeast is probably better. Right, I'll go do that. Okay, so this is probably a lot better. There's quite a lot of stuff that I can uh, hide behind and shoot. Um, hopefully, well, if these tables are shoot over, ah, uh, fuck. Oh, over they are. Uh, right, let's give it a go, shall we? Uh, that could be a problem. Uh -huh. Well, it's not a problem because they... Pro well, to be fair, do I even need to safe spot them? Probably not, right? I'm 40 defense and nearly 50 hit points. I'm probably actually fine. Um... Cool. All right, let's uh, let's get stuck in then. See what we can, what range level we can get to with uh, four hundred and fifty arrows. So we are about to hit level five range, which is our first bow upgrade to the oak short bow. What an upgrade that is! Let's go. Hopefully, we hit a bit more often now. I'm still not hitting a lot, even with. Uh, even with uh, even on the men with their minus 21 defense but wow we kind of finished it super quick there with the oak so that's good let's see what the attack attack difference is so the range strength i believe that's entirely from the arrows yep yeah. and the regular short bow is plus eight and the oak is plus 14 so nearly twice as good so yeah this will definitely speed up our training a little bit we're down 80 or so arrows and we're at level 5, I'm, so I'm doubtful we'll get to level 20, but we only need level 30 for the chunk overall to wield the maple short bow and the adamant arrows. Um, but nice to finally get some range training done, and it'll be good for future range training because in Varrock we obviously have the archery shop, so we can get as many arrows as we need easily, and we've got a decent range weapon in the maple short bow, could, could definitely be worse. Um, you know, there's, there's quite a lot of uh, one chunk men that have to train range with like knives they've made themselves or just a short, like a regular short bow. So, yeah, it could definitely be a lot worse having a maple short bow that I can just buy and adamant arrows that I can just buy. So, yeah, this is uh, this is nice. I'm really, really happy I rolled this Varrock chunk, you know, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Go on then, 20 range, easy as you like. We're on to the willow short bow now. Oh, drop the oak one, grab the arrows. So now I can also get the studded body and legs that they sell at Horvick's shop. So we shall go and do that. Um, and then we'll finally look like a proper ranger, which will be good. And only, uh, only 10 levels to go until this chunk goal is completed. All right, let's go. Did I already buy the chaps? I feel like I did, didn't I? So I've grabbed the studded body now. So let's go see what the stats are on these bad boys. Um, so... Yes, I did. Okay, so with the willow short bow, we're talking plus 20. Another plus 8 from the body and another plus 6 from the chaps. And look at us. We look almost like a real player these days. Look at that. We're gaming now, um, and then I think I can wear my med helm without losing any range attack, right? I can indeed. Look at me. Look at me. I've got something equipped in like every item slot except the glut, except the ring. And I could get a ring because well, should I pull open one of these and see what we get. Roulette. Classic gold ring. There we go. Something in every slot. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? So sexy. Right, I'm actually quite bored of doing the fletching, so instead we're going to go for the old fire making. Where's my tinderbox gone? Bank organisation is terrible. Um, but here we go, so I don't need to do anything with the bank because I'm not going to be going to the bank. And let's get stuck into some fire making, shall we? 
Level 25 fire making. It is so refreshing how quick it is as well. Look, 60 XP per instead of 25 is so much faster. Um, yeah, we'll fly through these levels. Go on then, level 30 fire making as well. Why not? Let's burn some willow logs, which we don't have. Apparently oak logs is actually better than willow logs though in terms of XP per hour, chopping, burning, and fletching. So I'm actually in quite a good spot here. And also, an awful lot of chunk men only ever have a steel axe. And I'm lucky enough to have a black axe. So, yeah, I could definitely be in a worse spot for this. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. There is level 55 woodcutting. And level 50 fletching, which is the level for maple shortbows, but we have absolutely no access to bowstring here or I believe anywhere close to me at all. So uh, we won't be making any, any bows, but um, we will be continuing on fletching so we can get ourselves an entirely useless U-shield. Here is level 60 woodcutting. You can now cut down yew trees, which is one of the uh, tasks for our chunk. Oops, there's Microsoft Teams booting up because I was doing all this on mobile. I thought I'd come out and record level 60. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 55 fletching as well now, so only 17 fletching levels to go. And uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to leave the fire making to last because it'll be so free. Um, but yeah, this chunk is going well so far and is a nice break from the crafting and the cooking of the last episode because this is very AFK, very chilled out. You know, it takes 30 seconds for each of these to fall now post forestry update and it takes about a minute to craft all the logs into, uh, into longbows as we had over there. So very relaxed and easy to do on mobile. So yeah, nice little chunk so far. There is 65 woodcutting and we also got 60 fletching last night whilst we were on mobile. Getting through this grind one step at a time. I've also got 8,000 oak longbows in the bank by now, which means that, I mean, that's another 200-ish K right there. So that is very nice because uh, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to end this chunk with almost a million GP, which would be very good. Okay, so we've got all this cash and we're going to get a lot, lot more from that. So let's go have some fun with it and buy ourselves some runes. So the main spell we're going to be using is Fire Strike, so I'll kind of focus. I'll go and buy a Fire Staff. Oh, I can go and buy all the Staffs, to be fair, because why not? Um, so, oh, this shop sells loads as well. I'm, I'm doing another super secret series that I can't tell you about at the moment. Um, but it involves a wilderness shop up at the north and it only has like five of these per world so i'll be able to buy runes here a lot 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 easier so we'll buy a whole invent of these bad boys and we'll get a whole invent of airs as well uh probably two whole invents of airs and then we'll just get to um doing some casting i guess so let's go buy ourselves a staff of air. I mean, look how lucky we are to have the staff shop in our chunk. Very nice indeed. But there we are. Staff of air achieved. And we can now... Do I want the defense levels or not? Or do I want to just get magic? I think I'm just going to get magic levels. Because we're kind of encroaching on the wildy now. And if we get any kind of task in the wildy, it'll probably be better to have a lower combat level than this year. I mean, I know that the Elder Chaos Druid is like crazy PK hotspot. Green Dragon's also a crazy PK hotspot. So if we can avoid that, that would be ideal. So yeah, I think I'll just train the magic. What should we train it on? These guards are probably all right if I can save spot over this. Which it looks like I can. So yeah, we're going to rapidly get some magic levels here. Um, I'll probably see you at whatever the milestone I decide is a milestone. Sorry, am I fucking dumb? Why did I buy an air staff instead of a fire staff? <laughs> I meant to buy a fire staff. Oh my god. I'm literally, it's, it's, I'm getting old. I'm 26 now. Ah. <sighs> Brain just isn't what it used to be. I've had a good degree from like a good university and I just, I can't even remember to get fire staff. My brain is literally melting before my very eyes. Uh. 
Go on then. There's the five magic. So we can now use water strike. Not bad. I should probably, I'm thinking when I get to level 13, I get fire strike, which is probably what I'm going to do all the way to 55 on. Probably. Because it's cheap and effective. Um, I think probably what I'll need to do is swap to werewolves to kill. Because I'll kill them pretty quick with magic. And what's quite good about them is that they actually do have some right drops, really, in comparison to a lot of stuff. Um, there's not really anything proper meaningfully that has, like, meaningfully good drops that I can kill in my chunks. There's kind of just some garbage. It's like a one black knight, a couple men, nothing there, you know, crawling hands and banshee, which aren't great either. Vampires, which are a pain in the ass. Uh, but the werewolves in the pub, being able to safe spot them over the tables, if I can, might be the one. Yeah, there's just really not that much useful stuff. I mean, I've got like snails, but that was a lot of work for not much reward. But if I can kill the werewolves and get like, you know, just a rune med helm here and there, like that would just be a nice way to get some of this money back that I'm going to be spending on the runes. So uh, yeah, I'll probably move there once I get to 13. Earth Strike unlocked at level 9. There we go. Oh, that makes a funny noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Right, and that is level 13 for Fire Strike. However, I don't have a Fire Staff because I'm brain dead. So, uh, yeah, let's go grab one. So, cannot point out again just how lucky I am. One tile, well, you know. It's a few tiles away from not having it, but there we have our fire staff, and now we can cast fire strike. So we're going to be a damage machine from here. I mean, this is probably actually my best DPS against most things because my strength level is so terrible, um, and I've only got an Addy sword. So you know, magic being OP as it is at low levels, this is now probably my best DPS against, against most things, which is cool. I guess I should probably wear my Zami robes because they may give some level of attack bonus. Yes, plus 14, very nice. Look at that, I look like a Chad. And there is level 65 Fletching, which aside from being the level for you short bows and diamond tipped Addy bolts, also means we are exactly 50% of the way to level 72. So if you didn't know, every seven levels, your XP doubles in any skill at pretty much any level, bar the very, very early game. So, you know, 64 will be twice what 57 is, 78 will be twice what 71 is, and most famously, uh, 99 is twice what 92 is. So that means we're halfway through the fletching, we're nearly at 70 wood cutting as well. Still haven't bothered with the fire making yet, um, but the fletching really is the main grind so it's kind of the main thing that i'm spending a lot of my time doing so yeah we'll crack on if you made it this far through the video leave a comment please saying something like you sound like batman turned up to 11 or or you sound like my daddy uh, that way I'll know you're a legend for watching all the way through and it'll also help me out in subtly influencing the casual viewer that uh, only watches the first 15 minutes of the video that my early voice loss was actually a great thing and not just annoying. Uh, thank you. Um, I intend on completing the Varrock chunk in the next video because I, I was kind of planning on doing it this video. However, I realised I had nearly an hour of footage recorded, so I thought it best to just release the video early and split completing the chunk in two. So I hope you're not too disappointed with the lack of progress in this one compared to the last one. The hours of input was obviously quite low, but the actual output in terms of rolling chunks was pretty high. So. Yeah, that's why this video is so long and so little was achieved. Um, a huge thank you to the channel members, as always, for supporting me in my dream of convincing my wife that spending hours and hours and hours of my time creating 17,000 unfinished oak longbows is actually a brilliant use of my uh, earthly minutes. So they are Avery Fields, IT Warrior, 
Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, El Pinin, Grimzoso, Soundex Ur, Kai, Hunterman, Fontsast, Carl Sprouse, and our newest channel member, Crito, who joined at the Rune tier. So thank you for that, and I really, really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. In the next one, we'll be finishing the Varrock chunk and getting back to rolling more chunks. So hopefully, more fun and useful ones. Ta-ta for now.